else will give you praise. Thank you for your mercies. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for loving us. Though we are sinners, despite this, you came to die for us. Jesus, we thank you. We appreciate you. Jesus, renew us. Transform us to be like you. Jesus, let your light shine in us. Let your light shine upon us mightily. Let us be a shining light in this world. Thank you, Lord, for loving us. Whatever powers are troubling you, I stand in the name of Jesus against them. I command every power fighting you to scatter. Let them be dissolved and be destroyed. In the mighty name of Jesus, whatever causes that are placed against you, I reverse them. Causes against your business, be reversed. Causes at work against your family, your marriage, be reversed. In the mighty name of Jesus, I release you to celebrate in the presence of all your enemies. Now rise up and walk in the name of God the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. You shall surely celebrate. You may be seated. You may be seated briefly. God bless you. Today I want to teach you my message from my serial message titled The Grace to Make Wealth. 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 I want to read from the book of Deuteronomy. That is where my proof test is taken. Deuteronomy 28. I will start from verse 2. And all these blessings shall come on you and overtake you if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord. Blessed shall thou be in the city. Blessed shall thou be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of thy body and the fruit of thy ground and the fruit of thy cattle, the increase of thy kind and the flocks of thy sheep. Blessed shall be the ba thy basket and thy store. Blessed shall thou be when thou comest in. Blessed shall thou be when thou goest out. The Lord shall cause thy enemies that rise up against you to be smitten before thy face. They shall be destroyed. They shall come out against you in one way and they shall flee before you in seven ways. The Lord shall command the blessings, the blessing upon thee in thy storehouses and in all that thou settest thy hand unto. And he shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God giveth unto you. These are God's promises for us. And it's good you know these things. He said he shall bless the works of your hands. He shall cause, he shall cause your storehouses to be blessed, which in turn means you will have in abundance. It's somebody that has in abundance that need reservation in a store. If you don't have abundantly, you, cannot, you don't need a store. Because well, well, you don't even have enough for yourself. Talk much more of reserving in a storehouse. So these are some of the blessings that God has given you. They are your best right. They are in you. You are not trying to have them. They are already inside of you. They are inside of you. The grace to make wealth. Content potentials that are in you, that are just there, dormant. Inside, you have these potentials that is in you that you have not been able to harness. You have not harnessed it. It's just there. You have not started using it. It's inside of you. You have not tapped into it yet. Lanted potentials. It's in you. You can make things happen. 
It is the will of God for you to be rich. It is the will of God for you to be in good health. It is the will of God for you to marry and enjoy your marriage. It is the will of God for you to have children and to see your children's children. It, it, it means God has given you these promises. Not just promises. He has given it all to you. So the grace to make wealth is a grace. It cannot work in you except you realize you are carrying it. You must realize that you might be broke. There is no money, but you know that there is a grace that is at work in you. That money must come. You must know. You might be in your marriage and there is no child yet, but you must have a strong conviction in you that there is a grace that is at work in you that you must have a child. You must have it. You must have this conviction in you that a child must come. Whether the devil likes it or not, children must come. You must, first of all, have the conviction in you a conviction that devils cannot easily distract or dissuade. Devils are always talking to us. You are getting your due. Look at your age. You are not yet married. What kind of life are you even living now? Why don't you just jump from that upstairs and kill yourself and die? What kind of life are you living? Your mates are buying vehicles and you are still struggling to pay rentage. What kind of life are you living? Your younger brother has just completed his house and he has moved into it. And you are still here begging Lalo to leave, 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 wash me till next week. Wash me till next two months. What kind of life are you living? Just end it and die. Devils always speak to us. Discouraging us. And as he's speaking, he's washing you. What is he trying to do? He's watching your disposition. He's trying to see if his words are entering you. He's watching. If he now sees that you are moody, you are thinking, yeah, he's happy. He will start bombarding you with much more troubles. Words that will move you to head wall. And now that you are moody, you can no longer think. You can't reason well. You can no longer pray. Devils have had his way. He's already on you. You must know this. God can never walk in depression. God can never walk in sorrowing. You are crying. You know some of you, you'll be praying. You think you are praying. You, know what? you are not praying. You have been crying. Crying and prayers are two different things. God does not answer cry. God answers prayers. I've seen pastors that are crying on the altar. Crying. That is not prayers. God don't hear things like that. You must realize what God has given to you that is inside of you. You might not be educated now. You, you might not have any CV you can use to go and look for a job now. You might not even have money to set up a business now. You might not be very pretty. You, you might have, maybe you are disabled and you know you must marry. The marriage will come. You must have the conviction first. I have a disabled sister in this church. You need to see her husband. Fine guy. And they have children. Fine guy. They are in the church. I don't know if you have seen this couple. And they have children. They are always around. What about you? Go and get close to that sister. She will tell you her conviction that I must marry. And a young, handsome guy married her. The guy forgot the leg that is disabled. In this church, then you are here, you are complaining, wailing, thinking. You need to wake up from your slumber. Jesus cannot walk in sorrowing. You are sorrowing, you are wailing, you are complaining. I'm pregnant. I have not even buy baby things. What are baby things? Somebody can buy it for you. Somebody can give you a car for free. Oh, you don't know. Whenever devil comes with his accusation, with his tactics of pulling you down, then you speak the words of faith. Declaration, don't worry. I'm not moved by what I see. Money is my slave. 
He will say, this is how God's to, you are saying money is your slave. That is what you said, January. This is how God's the year is going now. You have not even made 1,000 and you are still talking. You say, forget. All the ones I have not made since January, I am going to make it all at once. You must have a word to counter the devil. Did they tell you devils will not come? Jesus fasted for 40 days and 40 nights. The first person he met is the devil. The very first person. This is Jesus Christ. What about you? I'm tired. I want to leave this marriage. What kind of marriage is this? A sister came here yesterday with her husband. They came from Asaba. And I, I was looking at both of them. And the Holy Spirit said, look at the sister. Look at her very well. He said, look at her. I saw like a dark road in her chest. I said, where is that? He said, she has made up her mind to leave the marriage. Find five beautiful children. The husband is there by her side. She has made up her mind. I don't know how to tell her such word in the presence of her husband. So I was trying to beat around and I was saying, see, I want you to believe in this marriage. Please believe in your marriage. Forget about the hardship you are going through now. I don't know you before, but believe in your marriage. It's going to work. The darkest hours are the nearest to the morning. See, as as I'm seeing you, you are discouraged. She started smiling. I said, you have made up your mind to leave the marriage. She said, yes. I'm sick and tired of the marriage already. Yes, it's true. I've already made up my mind. The husband was looking. I told the husband that one day you would have just woken up, your wife is gone. Gone for good. Because devils have been working on her. Is this a marriage? Are you sure this one is a marriage? You have wasted your time. Why did you even marry this man? You would have married Thompson. Who? I told you to marry Thompson that time you didn't hear. You followed this madman. Devil. You know what they call devil? Devil that caused confusion in heaven. You know what they call devil? The Bible said, resist the devil and they will flee from you. So you have to resist it. It's not God that will come and fight it for you. You have to stand on your feet and resist the devil. You have to put the devil to flight. It is left for you. That is where faith comes in. By faith, you put the devil to flight. They must come. No matter how holy or dirty you are, devil must come and face you like it faced Jesus Christ. Devil must face you. One on one, you might not see him, but you will hear him talking. You will see things going wrong. Things will even get worse. Devils are still talking. You will get so discouraged. Devil will keep on talking. But once you encourage yourself, you see that the words of the devil will be reducing. Will be reducing. Gradually, he will phase out. So you need to encourage yourself. Moses died in the book of Joshua, Joshua 1. Most, I don't have that time now. But if you go home, I want you to read the book of Joshua 1, 2, 3. Read it. You really like this. Joshua was a servant of Moses. And now Moses has died. God came to meet Joshua. I said, Joshua, I've given you that land. Take over all those cities and divide it to my children. The land God is giving to Joshua is inhabited by people. The people were giants. Giants! For 40 years, the children of Israel ran away. They could not get close to the land. God said, I've given it to you. Go and fight for it. God was there encouraging him. If you read that book of Joshua 1, damn. Three times God told him, Joshua, be strong and be encouraged. God is speaking to him. Be strong. Be encouraged. Be strong, Joshua. Three times, three different occasions. Be strong. Troubles are coming. Be strong. God, why is God telling him be strong? God could have just fought the battles for him. But there are things you must do. You, you must face it and do it. If you are not trained, devils will defeat you. And that is what the churches don't teach us today. The churches don't prepare us for battles. And there are battles in life. But the churches are not really designed to equip us to be strong enough to face these battles. That is why you see we go to church and once in a while we get fed up, we are sick and tired of going to church, we stop going to that church. 
It's because we weren't trained, we weren't trained to stand the devil and stand the challenges of life and overcome. They always tell us do good things. God has done this, God has done that, God will do this, you cannot serve God and be tempted. Who told you? Who told you? There is only one place I know where there is no temptation. The place is so peaceful. I don't know if you like to go there. No temptation at all. And that place is the cemetery. Everybody there are dead. Cold. Very quiet. So if you choose a life without trouble, please go to the cemetery. Just go there. You can just dig up yourself and cover yourself and no more trouble. You have to be prepared for battles. Let me tell you some of these men in the Bible that knew what is inside of them. Like, like, uh, like Joseph in the Bible. Joseph knew what was inside of him. Even when he was sold into slavery, he was still a good boy. He was still very confident. In Potiphar's house, he was still a good boy. He was still very confident because he knows Jesus is alive in him. Even in the prison, he was still a good boy, very, very confident with good humor. He does not deceive people. He does not steal. He does not misbehave. Very obedient and hardworking. He's not lazy. God cannot use lazy people. God not, does not use liars. A man of God is telling lies. God cannot use you. He's a liar. His ministry is fake. That is how you know fake men of God. They always tell lies. Deceiving people. They are fake. Don't, you don't need to see it in the dream. The Bible says, but there are fruits you shall know them. How could you call yourself a man of God? You deceive people. Joseph was straight. So straight. Now he stood before Pharaoh. Can I have that Genesis? Genesis, let me, let, me, let me tell you what Joseph made Pharaoh to do. Genesis 41, verse 38. Can I have the Genesis 41, verse 38? Je Joseph now faced Pharaoh. One on one. Pharaoh had troubles. He had a dream. Nobody could interpret the dream. All his magicians, all his wise men, all his soothsayers, even all the money he had could not solve the problem. They then brought Joseph from the prison to Pharaoh. And the words that Pharaoh said, the first three words Pharaoh said to Joseph was so intimidating. Are you sure you can interpret this dream? Because it means if you cannot interpret it, your head is going to roll. But Joseph was so optimistic and so confident. And Joseph interpreted the dream. Can I have the, the scripture, Genesis 41, 38? And Pharaoh said unto his servant, Can we find such a one as this? As this is? A man in whom the Spirit of God is. So the young man knew the Spirit of God is in him. And he's so confident about it. He was thrown in a well. He was so confident that he's not going to die. That the Spirit of God is in him. That even though he should die, it means he's going to heaven. Devils could not have in his way. He was sold into slavery. He was so confident that the spirit of God is in him. He was sold from slavery into the prison. He was still very confident. Now before Pharaoh, life and death before Pharaoh. He was so confident. You need to read that Genesis 40 and 41. He interpreted the dream. He then told Pharaoh what to do, how to do, how to organize the kingdom. Pharaoh said, hey, hey, hey hold on. Can we see anybody that has the spirit of God as this man? See. From today henceforth, you are my second in command. Nobody in this country, in the whole world, can do it like you. You, you must do everything. Instantly, from prison to presidency. It's a grace to make wealth. You need to be aware of it. Thank you. you need, no matter the condition you are now, God has his own plan. He has the plan for you to lift you up. From prison to presidency, from rat to riches, from grass to grace. That is his will for you. But God is processing you. He's working on you. Waiting time is not a wasted time. Don't forget that. It's a process. Waiting time is not... What about David? 
What about David? David was the youngest of his brethren and he went through the process. But David always had God at heart. Read the Bible, read first Samuel. Had God at heart. One day he was faced with a lion, he killed a lion. He was faced with a bear, he killed a bear. One day he was faced with Goliath, he defeated Goliath hands down. They didn't even have to fight from afar. Goliath fell flat, down, flat. Even Paul, that was the king, became scared of David. That the spirit of God is in him. What about Daniel? In the book of Daniel, Daniel 2. What about Daniel? Daniel has been the miracle walking young boy. He interpreted dreams for, for, for the king just like Joseph. He did a lot of things and they made him a governor. They raised him up. He had a lot of enemies everywhere surrounding him. He has not offended anyone any day. Just envy. Ah, his car is too fine. He's showing himself in this family. We are going to bring him down. We will kill him. Which day did he come every day? He, 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 he says it's raining. Which raining? We are going to bring him down. One day they deceived the king. The wise men of the king. Eh? Daniel's colleague. They deceived the king to enact a law. A law that he should erect a, an image. Everybody must bow down to the image. Knowing fully well that Daniel will never bow down. Because they're very uh, devoted Christian. You know what they did? They set him up. They met the king. They advised the king. He said, okay, sign it now. According to the law of the Medes and the Persian, that whoever, anybody that refused to bow before this statue shall be killed. The king signed. Two days later, they came. They said, we'll find somebody that refused to bow before that your statue, right? And the king said, who? Bring that person. When they brought the person, is Daniel. His only man, Daniel. He was heartbroken. But according to their law, the law of the Medes and Persians, whatever you put into law, you cannot reverse it. And the king looked at Daniel and said, the God that you serve is going to deliver you from the lion. Daniel kept quiet. They took him to the lion's den. You need to watch the movie. Those men that set him up, they were drinking, celebrating. The king was crying. Oh, Daniel. Daniel is the most useful wise man in the kingdom. Oh, Daniel. Daniel has been eaten by lions. I don't believe that. His God must deliver him. The king could not sleep. Early morning, very early in the morning, the king was there. He said, Daniel, has your God been able to deliver you? Daniel said, yes, my God that I serve has delivered me. They were happy. All those other men that were celebrating his death, they were all thrown into the lion's den. They all died with their families. Let me tell you how God works. God, most times, even according to that book of Daniel, he said the, uh, the God of Daniel is a God that rescues it and deliver it. What is he saying? God most times can rescue you. Maybe you, you are driving or you are walking and somebody is trying to shoot you. The person can just shoot at you and God will rescue you and the bullet will never get close to you. You may never know that someone shot you. God has rescued you, right? At times... You might be driving and devils have set trap. She must have an accident and die. At times, God can allow it to happen. The vehicle will some thought. And the wishes will be celebrated. Yes! As they hear the news. She had an accident. Yes! She has died. They'll say, nothing happened to her. God has delivered you. From the lion's den, he has delivered you. At times, you look as if you are gone. There is no hope. She is dead. She has coronavirus. Even if they are dying, you will come back. Only you will come back. That is how God delivers. 
It's a God that rescues and delivers. Let me tell you, whatever you are going through now, God will deliver you. No matter how deep that lion's den is, my God will deliver you. He will bring you out. Whatever messy situation you find yourself in right now, my God will deliver you. Before you know it, it's a thing of the past. You might be your marriage, no shy. My Jesus will deliver you. You might not be married now. People are mocking at you. Jesus will deliver you. Before you know it, you are the one reigning in town. He will deliver you. In the mighty name of Jesus. You might not have any money now. And no hope to make money. My Jesus will deliver you. You will be the one giving people money. In the mighty name of Jesus. You might just be an apprentice. Or a salesperson. Or a nobody. Jesus will deliver you. You become on top. He will place you on top. In the mighty name of Jesus. My Jesus will deliver you. My Jesus will deliver you. My Jesus will position you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Don't be discouraged. Don't be discouraged. Lika bronskelide hoskelide bosh. Make sando hol le capran sandos la ge bronze que lida hash male de hes lide bronze la cachande la de bronze que lide hos morongo bosch que lidos mate cabolanda le de brasca lande hes rage bosch don't be discouraged encourage yourself in faith don't give up it does not take a year to get married it does not take a day to conceive it does not take 10 years to make money to build a house. It does not even take a year to buy a vehicle. What are you going through? Encourage yourself. God has delivered you. You must celebrate. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Okay, sister, can I pray for you again? You. Yes, yeah, stand up. I want to pray for you. I want to bring you out. I want to bring you out. I'm seeing an ordinance. You fast with us last week. You fasted the seven days. Fasted two days safe. Four. Can you put your hands together? Four days you try now. Leave her now. Leave her there. Four days you try. How many people you fast four days? Who fast pass or reach four days? Man, see your hand. Not lie you. T8. To 12. You sure? I'm not working here for you. You say you fast. All true. I want to give you apple. Your wife needs to conceive again. Give you apple. So you fasted four days. I'm seeing an ordinance that is written in your father's house that the, the Lord is showing me. Right? Ordinance written against people. I don't know what is written against. Uh, this is a witchcraft ordinance in your father's hands to stop people from making money, right? Stop people from making money, right? I, I'm seeing uh, businesses stopping people from doing well, making money and the rest. And some other things too that uh, I can't see now, right? Also fight marriages too. Fighting marriages, falling marriage, falling marriage, going to marriage, nothing to run home about. Checking your family is there, right? So we, we have to break the ordinance. Are you ready? I want to break down dinners. I don't know what tell you, who did it and how they did it. But all I know, as far as you are in TMG, the ordinance has to be broken now. Can you put your hand on your chest? Both hands. Don't be afraid. You don't have to fall. Eh, who wrote this ordinance? Ordinance of death. Ordinance of failure. Who wrote it? Who wrote it? I command the angels to rewrite it, rewrite it, rewrite it, rewrite it. Can I see you rewriting it? Holy angels, rewrite it, rewrite it. Father's house ordinance, yes, rewrite it. Write it for marriages to work. Write it, write it, write it. They are writing it now. One, two, three, four, four. Write it now, now. Not for her, for everyone. For everyone, as far as she's here, she's here for every one of them. Write it, write it out. Now bring her out, bring her out, bring her out. As she's coming out, 
Everyone is coming out. I bring your heart. 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 You will not live your life like any one of them. In the mighty name of Jesus, I release your heart. I bring you totally out. You are free totally in Jesus' name. You are free. She's out, right? Totally out, right? Free. You may be seated. Where's her chair? She's free, right? You must not fall. So when I call you at times, you'll be scared that prophet won't push me forward. Must you fall? You must not fall, right? So God has done his work, right? You must not fall. There is need for you to fall. Is it not better you fall and your problem are solved than you resist? I cannot fall. Gum ground with your leg, your toe. Those days with this synagogue, as they pray for us, I say, hey, am I not manifesting? And they pray for me. Why is my Christopher? I won't fake the manifestation. I could not. They were, huh? they were saying, you are lucky they prayed for you. I said, forget that. They manifest. I said, I want to manifest. Eh? You see? So we wanted to be delivered by all means. Now that you have it in a platter of gold, be happy about it. So what do you want God to do for you? Right? What do you want God? Just wanting, wanting you want God. Where's your name? Nobet. Obet. Nobet. Love it. No bet. No bet. No bet. Yes. Okay, sorry, my head is very hot. So I'm never here away now. Okay, no, no bet. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, um, 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 I'm seeing you like walking, right? Very big, right? Right? And I'm seeing a power that took the job out. Completely. And I'm seeing another power again that's programmed accidents for you. Right? I don't know you before, but it's what I'm seeing. Program accident. Serious one for you. Why did they fight you like this? Where did they come from? Why are they fighting your job? Why are they killing your career? I'm seeing they are killing your career. They are closing it prematurely in when it doesn't supposed to have gone. Right? That's one. Then, uh, where did it come from? Let's go to where it came from. These powers have fought your office. I'm seeing an office, they fought it, that it cannot work, that you should go and do something else. And they also prepare accident and also planted, uh, 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 there's a kind of spirit of fear, I don't understand. They also planted this side of you. I don't really understand why that one came. Right? And uh, where did they come from? Why are they fighting you? I'm also seeing you uh, uh, you are discouraged, right? They, they also planted it inside of you to discourage you as if things will not work. At the same time, the, the discouragement came from a certain power of rejection, right? People you helped or they want to help you, suddenly they just turn back on you as if you offended them and you did not offend them. I think that is where this uh, discouragement also came from. I'm seeing it, right? Then, I'm also seeing an idol, like an image. An idol, like an image that is fighting you. This one is not in your family. I'm not seeing it in your father's house. I'm not seeing it in your mother's house. Right? I'm seeing it fighting you seriously. An image, I'm going to trace it to, to see where it's from. If it's from your in-law side or from outside, I, I, I'm going to trace that. But firstly, I want to follow uh, where these powers that block your office, where did it come from? God also wants to use you. God has given you a power. God has given you a light. But the light has been covered. It's so small. But this power that truncated your, your, your career, where is it from? This power that is frustrating your career, fighting these documents, where is it from? Why, why is it following you? Why is it fighting you now? Why now? That is just what I want to do for you, right? I think if we can trace it, we can solve it. I saw it in your father's hands, but right now I'm also seeing a kind of power that is fighting enjoyment in your mother's house. Yes, I don't yes. understand it. Yes. It fights enjoyment. It also fights marriage. Fight enjoyment. Any enjoyment, any, anything when you do say they want to enjoy, happy, it fights it. It's like after any breakthrough, this power will come and fight you. Seriously, it's in your mother's house. And it's close. It's not very far. It's just like grandmother or so. 
very, very close, right? That's how I'm saying it. It's not what they did long ago. These people, it's just now, not quite long, they started it, right? So I'm seeing that power. Then in your father's house, I'm also seeing, I'm also seeing another kind of power again that is fighting promotion. Yes. Promotion. You want to yes. go up, right? This is an idol that is served in the family before, like exactly. it was outside. I'm seeing the place they built it. It was outside, they served it. Then whenever you want to climb up, yes. it will yes. bring you down. Yes. Now, it's not a coincidence that there's a power of fighting happiness in your mother's side. There's a power of fighting promotion in your father's side. It's not a coincidence. It's not a coincidence. It's God that brought it together so that you can surmount it, defeat it, Amen. break it, Amen. and put all of them to shame. Amen. So don't let it feel bad. Oh, my family is so bad. No. You all never bad reach my own. It's God that placed you there. Why? Because there's a fire I give you. There's a certain power God has given you. Yes, I don't know if you are aware of it, all, but you, are, you have power. Yes, right? Yes, yes, I'm here now. I know I have it. You, you have. Just that maybe uh, you feel a bit forget I'm not a pastor. Sometimes I'm, I'm discouraged. Sir. I know. Yes. I know. I saw the discouragement. So there's a power God has planted in you to overcome father's house and overcome mother's house. You, you just have to harness it. You have to tap into it. You have to awaken the force, your zeal, yes. to move on again. Yes, sir. Right? I'm yes, going sir. to join you in these prayers. I, I, I'm going to join you to destroy these powers that are fighting. Just that there are three sets of powers that are fighting. So you need to really wake up more. Encourage yourself more. The message for today is just for you. Encourage yourself more. Wake up more. Fight more. Don't give up, right? Yes. I want to fight them in your father's house and your mother's house. We want to destroy them. After this very prayer, you will see that things will start to work for you. Amen. Jesus, I thank you. I give you praise. Thank you for your love. Powers in his right leg. Power program in the right leg. Not to meet the right people. Not to meet the right things. Not to meet rightness. Power of barrier that the devils are programmed in this right leg in the mighty name of Jesus. <laughs> name of Jesus Christ. Go out. Now. <laughs> out. The mighty name of Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> out. The name of Jesus Christ. Remove those bow. There's a power on his right leg, sir. You know how they talk since they started the play. The power, that's why I did it leg. <laughs> This cannot work. Come by four. As he reached there. Oh, I just left the office. Come again next week. It's in the leg. He said that go slow will stop him before he gets there. The person has left. Or the person has used the money before the person will remember him. It's in the leg. They attacked him, right? You're almost done, no, sir. See, this is TMG. We believe in results. Sir, so we are going to pray this prayer again. Right? We are going to pray this prayer again. Say the name of Jesus. See my leg. Say, so I remove my leg. Remove it out. Then jump it over. Jump it over. Very good. Jump it over. That is it. The mighty name of Jesus. That is it. The mighty name of Jesus. Mm Jesus Christ. Out! Fire! Out! Burn to ashes from here to the altar. Fire everywhere. Go! Out! Come out! 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 Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. The guy pray I plenty you. This one is just the mother's house. Yeah, this one at the mother's house. So today is your day. Today is your day. Right? I told you there's a power 
either in your in-laws house or from outside right that is the next one i want to pray for you in the mighty name of jesus power that is standing in between his legs go it belongs to jesus go Free, totally. Free, free, free. Sorry, you One another verse, eh? We still get one more to pray. Father's house. Sana Fibadu. And the prayer we just did so. Father's house. Father's house. Father, they used to tie that shy. Seeing the shy, they tied. Huh? Father's house. Father, they used to tie that shy. In the name of Jesus. Father, tied money. Tied jobs. Tied celebration. Father, say people cannot climb up in a certain stage. They cannot pass that stage. In the name of Jesus, you catch fire. Out. Fire. Father is fighting joy. Out. 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 He's free now. Very free. Be restored. 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 Your glory be restored. Every good thing be restored. Finances be restored. Marriage restored. Love restored. Likeness, general likeness be restored. Plenty money be restored. In Jesus' name. If I be a true man of God, money is your slave now. You don't have to work for money. They will start calling you. They will start calling you. Don't forget today, 3rd August, they will start calling you. Can you celebrate Jesus? Yes. You are in a bike, your wife is behind you, are riding in a speed lane. You know, when you see yourself in a dream, you are in the bike or in the spirit realm, in the vision, it means you are on a speed lane. It does not mean poverty, eh? Brother Tennessee, you can see yourself, you do Okada. Because ah, I go dream, I do Okada. My sweet motor, I go go do Okada. No, it's not poverty. It's not bad. It means you are on a speed lane, right? It's only bad when you see yourself riding bicycle. If they ride bicycle, they go far. Oh, that is serious. It's terrible. Poor Vati. Okay. 
I'm seeing the bike, and there's a very dark creature that stood in your front, blocking you. I think that is why you are here. Right? We are going to destroy that plan. We are going to destroy the plan. Where is Pastor Daniel? Come, come, come. 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 Yes. Stand here. Stand here. And stand this side. Where is Pastor Joe? Pastor here. Yeah, Pastor Joe. Come to, come to. Come stand here. Mona, they look at me. Mona, they look at Stand here. Mama, come to. Mama, come. They see the see woman from the battle too. Stand here. Okay, you push be looking at him, eh? Just go back a bit. Come, can you come back a bit? More let me know the two all of them. Mona, stay. So now I'm going to grow. As soon as I don't grow, I will not come to this service. Yeah, I have been out this morning, walking somewhere to make sure that bus is here. We don't buy that motor one month. Why not go come? Now, devil, I have to go there myself and see the devil. See whether I feel stand. Okay, look at him now. Eh? You see that there's a dark creature or something, whatever it is in his front. I want us to move and remove it. Eh? Are you looking at him now? We well, are going to move like this. Eh? When I ask you to move, eh? you move like that, you remove it. Eh? You come back again. You move, you remove it. Eh? You come again three times. Can you look at it now? Eh? Can you look at it? Uh, if you have seen it, let me know so that I can, uh, I can ask you to, to, to start moving, right? To start moving. I'm seeing a, a winch, a lady, a winch. is sitting on your bag in your mother's house. Say, lady, oh, sister, I see it's you. A lady, a winch, is sitting on your bag in your mother's house. This woman is old, though, not be a young person, no. I don't know how, but she's sitting on, on a bag, sitting on your bag. Why is she, not only bag, they tell, where is Kelly? Come, come, come. Give city. Oh, my young pastors, they are on fire. When I go look for the old woman and let me know. Okay, have you both seen this one? When I don't see her, okay, your movement now eh, is to remove it. Carry her, hold her, come out. If you bring sickness, oh, you see the sickness? Eh? There's a sickness. I oh. don't know yet the sick. Oh, eh? oh, no, no. Okay. Just can we start it now? One, two, go. Come, come and stand this way. Come and look at sister. I see very well. Just look and tell me what you are seeing. Very good. Just look. And we don't have time. We are closing by eight. So you know I was not around. Mark Habush Kelidos. Can you stand up on black? It's you now. Eh? Stand up. Put your hand on your chest. I want to pray for you. Yes. It's okay. Pull through one go. Yeah, go back, go back, go start them again. Yeah? Put your other hand. I want to pray for you. Whatever arrow they show. Yes. Seeing you, they shot your side, eh? And the village, you go village. You shot your side. They go village. Fast more. You want to go to the village and the village people are me. You fast. Fast more. Now even one day, use and they fast. Yeah? Use and they fast. They wash you. They wash you. Open and hold the demon. Yeah, hold the demon. Hold the demon. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hold the demon. Come out. Amen. Get on again. Get on again. Get on again. This time, make sure you catch the demon. No. Not let her escape. Oh. Yeah? Catch the demon. Where block and so. One are rich and I can set on fire. And I don't even need to look him. It's just they set that demon on fire. You pack the demon. Uh -huh. That is how it. Very good. I'm seeing an attack. Pack and set it on fire. Gently, you are too fast. Are you seeing it? Are you seeing it? Eh? Uh -huh. You are too fast. Uh -huh. Pick him up. Pick him up. Let me play. Uh -huh. Follow me the twelve of them. They want to grow. This is TMG. That's why they are envying me. Now God give me the power. I don't buy her anywhere. My name is Omogene. Eh? So that, to, that is to tell you that as my mother gave birth to me, she knew what she has given birth to. That's why she gave me Omogene. Eh? Very good kid, the demon there. Just, you see? You see? They never face him. Are you seeing it? They never face him. They face us. They don't even know what is happening. Are you seeing it? Kill it all. Let it die, die. They never face him. See where they face. Can you celebrate Jesus? Oh! Eh? You don't see something. They don't even they look. You see the road they go. Eh? 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 Eh?